Hey everyone, Stacy and Bill here with Bonsai Keto. Bonsai! <laughs> oh goodness, thanks for joining us. Uh, we have been tagged by Keizu Keto, which is Greg and Stacy, for the hashtag Keto Six Question Train. Yes. So, taking a little bit of time out so we can answer these questions for you. Yep. Question number one is your family part of your healthier plan? I would say somewhat. They definitely support it. Um, they eat some of the foods. Julia likes the taco shells. Um, she likes the cheese sticks, of course. Um, taco they eat seasoning. our pizza. She likes our pizza. <laughs> Lauren, as our older daughter, and she'll eat any of it. She likes it all. Um, but she's not strict keto. She's 18, you know. Yeah, lots of commitments with friends out at restaurants and stuff where she yeah. gets a drink and a fry and whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, I would say they're supportive of what we're doing and Absolutely. they see what we're doing. Extended family? No, not at not all. Not at all. Don't understand it. No, they don't get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question number two. Who's your favorite keto doctor? That's all about me. And he's not really a keto doctor. He's just Dr. Fung. Uh, <laughs> I've read all of his books, Obesity Code, Diabetes Code, um, and the Intermittent Fasting He's book. photoshopped him in on our um Oh yeah. Dr. Picks. Fung has been behind us before. <laughs> hanging out with us. Now, um, definitely more towards the fasting aspect, but uh, certainly right in line with the keto stuff as well. And um, and he's definitely the guy that I go to for information and support and yeah. all that fun stuff. I like Dr. Bird too and Dr. Barry. I watch Dr. Barry, Dr. Boz as well. Yep. I watch a lot of those on YouTube and just pick up a little here, a little there. A little bit everywhere. Who's your favorite? You, you don't know, have to say Dr. Fung, it's okay. No, I, I, I like Dr. Berg. Um, I like Dr. Fung too. Dr. Fung is very, this is how it is. Yep. Um, and I like that. Fact. And for what Dr. Fung has done with his advice for my husband. It's helping. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> so I don't really have one in particular, um, but, I, but we do watch them all. So yeah, I guess that answers that question, right? <laughs> yep. This is all Bill too. What's your favorite keto book? Oh, definitely by far. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the book on intermittent fasting with Dr. Fung. It's, it like totally blew my mind, changed my thoughts about everything, really got me into yeah. the whole key of I need to try this. Uh, that was probably about week two or three. If you watch our first few weeks of, uh, never of keto, right? I, I was constantly like, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not fasting. I believe all this. Some people say, and, and being a big guy that <laughs> eats quite a bit, I'm generally hungry. Now, although I am on a lot of insulin and stuff too. So sometimes they, people say that that can make you more hungry. It may even make you gain weight. So I'm hoping maybe with this, I see my sugars go down. I can talk to the doctor and reduce the insulins a little bit. Yeah. Heck, I'd love to just get rid of them. They're expensive, you know. It's a pain in the butt sitting there stabbing your belly with a needle every day. Twice a day for me. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, is that they say, oh, I've kind of lost my <laughs> hunger. I'm not buying that at all. But we'll see. I mean, hey, you never know. In three months, you could hear me saying, I'm only eating two meals a day now, and I'm fasting between all of it. Right now, no, that's not going to happen. Right. I want to have some cheese and some salami or some, <laughs> you know, a cheese stick or a dill pickle and a, wrapped in a piece of turkey or ham or something. And then as I read that book, we were probably about a month in, three yeah. weeks in or so. And uh, and I was like, gosh, I got to give this a try. And yeah, it's been life changing. It Definitely, has. Literally it has. life changing. I don't have as much time to read, um, but I have read quite a quite a few chapters, especially in the intermittent fasting, yep. to help understand um, why the sugars go up being a diabetic when you're fasting and you're not eating anything. Um, and then I got the audio book <laughs> of that book for her because she can listen in the car when she's traveling. I so, can listen through my hearing aids. Yeah, you can listen right through your hearing aids. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I got her the intermittent fasting book on audio, which helps her while she's traveling. Yeah. So. All right. Number what's four. Next? What's your favorite personal family event party keto food? Dear Lord, that's a hard one to answer. Um, I've done a lot of recipes. Uh, I love the Parmesan crusted chicken. I love the Parmesan crusted pork chops. I think um, mine would be the tacos and the fathead pizza. Tacos we make the most frequently because Julia loves the tacos. Um, she eats the taco shell. She loves the new taco seasoning that I've been making yeah, uh, that's from scratch. Um, I made it a little too warm for oh, yeah. both of them. Now, the funny thing is I put a little bit of um, red ground pepper 
flakes in it. Oh, the pepper flakes, yeah. <laughs> and, and a little more chili powder, and too. And a little bit more chili powder. It um, was hot. And uh, Bill says, it was hot, but I like it a lot. Yeah. And Julia goes, Mom, this is really warm. I said, is it warm oven warm or is it warm spicy warm? She goes, it's warm spicy warm, but can I have another? Yeah, and then the following the morning, she got up and wanted to have a taco for taco breakfast. Taco for breakfast. So yeah, it works out well. So her favorite, absolutely. And we love the little flatbreads that you make. That's probably, for sandwiches I everything. would have to say my favorite. I use that the most often because it's so convenient. That's what I have my sandwiches on when I go to work. So, and that's, I've done a video on that one as well. Uh, so that one's my favorite. I'm going to delve into some dessert recipes, I think. So. Oh, cool. Um, I'm really wanting some... A sweet, a treat. I'm thinking chocolate, yeah, because I can yeah. see your face. You're like, hmm. So we don't do a whole lot of party. We don't have family in the area. Um, so we don't do a lot of bigger events. But like I said, they do not support. I shouldn't say they don't support. They don't do anything keto-wise. Um, they don't get it. They don't understand it. And it's okay. Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's working for us. They definitely see the results. Um, but uh, So it's okay. But for a party event, I would probably say... The mozzarella sticks. Oh, yeah. Mozzarella sticks yeah. didn't even last. When our camera turned off and there was a plate of mozzarella sticks, those sticks didn't even have a chance. <laughs> I think it was three minutes and they were gone. <laughs> they were gone. They, the flat. kids like came right into the plate and attacked. Yeah, it was We good. say kids, but it was just Julia, Bill, and well, I. Well, Julia, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, I'm, the, I'm your kid, too. You've you got three kids. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have two little ones and one big one. Yeah, okay. so our pizza and tacos is probably the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, we've made both of those this week. I've made the flatbreads this week. So these are things that we make on a regular basis. So when I do a video, it's definitely something that we enjoy. I'm a very picky eater. Um, that you make repeatedly. Yeah, Yeah. so I make them repeatedly, and they're fantastic. I really enjoy them, obviously. We just had fat thread pizza again yesterday. You know, might want to watch for a Fathead 2.0 on Stacy's end. She's, she's made some other tweaks and made some other changes that have actually been really good yeah. and uh, really helpful. Um, so I'm thinking we might redo that video and get you a little, do another one, yeah. a 2019 version of Fathead that we're doing because it's actually even better. Uh, the crust is different even. Yeah, more. made some so tips and adjustments. Changes and, and playing with it. Yeah. So and a couple of times we change something, they're like, don't do that again. <laughs> if there's like one or two batches, we're like, yeah, don't do that one. But we've got They were some, edible, but they weren't like, ooh. They were good. Yeah. Yeah, they were yummy. But yeah, we're working on it. So what's our next one? Number five? Do you believe after healing and weight loss that other foods can be added back in? I'd say yes to a degree. Um, I'll probably experience this quicker than Bill uh, because I'm there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, I've stayed pretty much with the keto plan, but I could see, you know, there's a really old pizza coming in the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> a really old pizza. I eat really old. I just take the top favorite. off. <laughs> it is, but I yeah. think I might have one square of the a full pizza. Um, my sister's coming up on... Uh, oh, they're going to bring you pizza. Wednesday night. My brother's coming in from Albuquerque. Mm. And uh, we don't get a, we don't get Aurelio's very often. So my sister ordered a Fiesta pizza. Oh, see, I didn't know about this. I just found out about this today. I like the topping. Yeah. So it's very good. That. But yeah, I think absolutely within moderation. Um, I think it's a little different for me being diabetic or at least pre di uh, you know, Diabetic before because at this Recovery point it's diabetic. almost almost <laughs> out of the way. Yeah, but uh, I got to be a little more sensitive, a little more, yeah. and I've, I've still got a while to go on the weight loss anyway. So you know, and it's okay because here's the thing: when we started this, we thought we were gonna miss our food horribly. Yeah, uh, especially the processed foods. The convenience is there, of course, because if you want to pop in a pizza, you pop in a pizza, and 18 yeah, minutes fast, later it's done. Fast. Um, I came home, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was I had, between jobs. Uh, two and a half hours between jobs, so I really wanted a fat head, so I whipped up. Bill had no idea. He's like, what nope. are you doing? I said, I'm making lunch. And then he's smelling it, and then he realized, oh, you're making, you're making pizza. pizza. yeah. <laughs> so um, the convenience, it takes a little bit more prep, but... You know, if you prep earlier in the week for some of the things that you can, it makes it nice and quick. Um, I think it's too because you make it so often. It's, yeah. It's so much faster. And when you're not trying to film it, right. it's <laughs> like, bam, knock it right out. 15 minutes later, you got your dough ready and you're ready to go. Yeah. But, it, you know, overall, I think we're not missing 
the spaghetti nights. Again, that was one. We spaghetti enjoyed and it in garlic bread. bread. We enjoyed it. I love bread. Um, I think Bill likes bread too. Oh, yeah. Probably not as much as I, I like do. Bread. I can make a meal out of bread and butter. Yeah. Uh, I think anybody can, you know. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely... It was a lot of it was a convenience. It was spaghetti night was quick, fast, and easy, very easy to make up. To make up, so we did it often. But I don't miss it to be honest with you. The last, last question, question: Do you ever consume food that is not on the keto plan? Of course, right away I said yes, and Bill looked at me kind of surprised. He's like, "What? What are you what? eating? <laughs> what are you eating?" And I said, "The Lily's bar." Um, but that's not so crazy. Yeah. That's still within parameters. And it is, but I guess I feel I like I'm cheating. I eat it every day. Right. I guess I feel like I'm cheating because it's chocolate. I bought you a little bar even because <laughs> I knew you were just Well, that was the first thing that I said was, time. yeah. And the look on his face was... Well, there's a little sugar in yeah. almost everything. And that's mostly like the the sweeteners and stuff. Right. And it, it, it all balances out when you take out the alcohol sugars and the things in there. Yeah. So it's it's not, within moderation, yes, you can have some lilies, a little quarter of a bar or half yeah. a, even up to a half bar is four carbs. The other so. thing, too, on the, the Fathead pizzas, I use the Rayo's pizza sauce and it has a little bit of sugar in just it. A, just a hair, yeah. The Even actual our bacon recipe, has one gram of sugar. I mean, yeah. you know. It's, the actual recipe calls for unsweetened tomatoes, and I'm not a tomato fan, yeah. so that was not going over well with me. The Rayo's works. The Rayo's works. It's very uh, flavorful, um, and it works very well, I think. Yeah. So those are my two, when when I said it, those were the things that I was thinking of. It feels like taste. I, I, can't, I can't honestly think of anything I've... Stuck in my mouth like, oh, I messed up and went off the plane. There was the one time we were in Canada at Stacy's mom's. My mom lives in Canada. Um, she had turkey. She, Her and I are the only two that eat turkey. So she had ham for everybody else, and then we had turkey. Um, but yeah. I had mashed potatoes then because my mom, her feelings were getting a little hurt because we weren't eating like we normally do. So yeah. I had a little bit of mashed potatoes. But that was right at the start, so. Yeah. But other than that, no, um, there's nothing I'm eating or drinking that I feel is way off our plan. Yeah. I'm not super strict keto, but, you know. Right. It is what it is. <laughs> but, yeah, that that was our question train. It was the hashtag Keto6 question train. And if you guys want to jump on board, that would be awesome. Just put a hashtag Keto6 question train in your description of your video. And then other people can click it and see who else has done the video. You want to get on board. Yeah, you want to get on board. Answer <laughs> these questions. They'll be in the description. Copy them into your description. And, and then offer that up to anybody else. So so that's our that's our answers and replies to the keto question train. And uh, hopefully you can jump on board. Do the hashtag. Do the little questions in your comments like we're going to do. Yep. And uh, we'll just see what everybody says. Maybe if that goes over well, we'll do another one. Do, we'll call it the... Keto five question train or something or something like that. The keto soul train. Keto soul train. <laughs> this this video is just going downhill quick. <laughs> we should just sign off and just say goodbye. So tomorrow is Saturday and it marks our six month completion of our keto journey. Yeah. It's not a completion, but yeah, we've completed six we've months. Completed at that six point. months. And it'll include pictures, measurements, BMIs, things like that. Absolutely. So um yeah, check in with us tomorrow on that. Um I don't know where we're going to fall. We're going to see. I've been sick lately. I got some steroids. I got some antibiotics. Hopefully feeling better. My weight's been all over the place. Up, down, all around. So we'll see where I land tomorrow and see how you're doing. Are That's... you still tracking or not tracking? I am. You are? I wow. am. Wow. I'm surprised. I know you are. You see, I don't see her very much. So <laughs> right now we're literally between jobs. Absolutely. Her. So yes, I am still tracking. Uh, there's a few things Yay. that... <laughs> <laughs> that I need to get in there because I didn't. I forgot to snap the the label, um, and I can't th remember what the creamy garlic sauce that I made chicken in the other night. So, uh, uh, but I know what I ate, and you know, so I am checking. Yes. Cool. Cool. So yeah, so check in with us tomorrow for our update, our six month update, and uh, jump on the keto train. Absolutely. Choo choo. Answer the questions. Throw it out there for others. See what it's be. Fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, just to watch. Absolutely, just to see what everybody else's answers are and get some good ideas of what's their favorite foods and what are they like. And right. hey, pass that recipe along. So, absolutely, absolutely. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a good day. We'll, we'll see catch you later. You tomorrow. Bye. Bye.